Hello? I put makeup on today because I had a Zoom meeting, but in the middle of the interview, my computer completely crashed and it didn't record. You can't let makeup go to waste because I put on makeup like once a month now. So that's why I'm doing this today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about Capizio Point Shoes. Capizio is one of the OG point shoe makers. They have been around for a very long time. A lot of models have come in and out of market from Capizio, but I'm gonna be talking about two of my favorite shoes that have come out onto the market the past couple of years. I didn't love the way that the old ones fit. So I was really excited when they actually revamped their point shoes. One of the differences between their old models and their newer ones is that they use a different last. So a last is the mold that the point shoe maker makes the shoe on top of. So it's a little bit wider and it's a little bit flatter so that it fits the modern foot a little bit prettier. So it's more comfortable. I think that was a really great thing that they did. Two of the point shoes that they came out with that are my absolute favorite in the past couple of years is the Capizio Kylie and the Capizio Ava. I'm gonna talk about the Ava first. I already did a video talking about this one, so you can go see that one too. So both of these models, they're for pretty square feet. Um, they have a wider platform so that it's easier to balance and it's really flat right here. So it, there's not a lot of tilting going on in this shoe. And if you look at the fabric here, they cut down this fabric pretty low on the side, but for the Ava, it comes up a little bit more on the heel. So it swoops a tiny bit, even though this is still considered a low heel, it still comes up a little bit more. The Capizia doesn't really use a lot of fabric and that's really just to show off your foot and make your arch look prettier. So they do that with the Capizio Ava and the Kylie's. They generally use less fabric than all, a lot of other manufacturers. Um, the inside of the shoe is made out of this plush material. So it's kind of um, soft. It's meant to grip your skin and your tights a little bit more. So it stays on a little bit better. But the downside to that is that it's kind of difficult to sew because it's so thick. It's a lot easier to just sew through the casing, the satin, rather than this like really plush material here but you have to make sure that you're not going through the elastic because if you get the elastic caught while you're sewing then you can't pull the drawstring anymore the capizia ava has the elastic drawstring so it's easier to pull um, if the shoe is fitted well though you really shouldn't have to pull your elastic if you pull the elastic too tight it might cut off your achilles so you want to be careful with that too um, so yeah ava has a square box wider platform, flat platform, lower fabric on the side, slightly lifted on the heel, the plush lining on the inside, and the shank strength, is a, it's about a medium shank, but I would say it's on the softer side of medium, um, and it is a full shank, so it goes all the way from the toe to the heel, it's the same shank strength all the way through. Um, I did notice that some dancers tend to break a little bit lower in the Ava, so you wanna be careful with that. Um, another shoe that's kind of comparable with the Ava is the, um, the European Balance. So it's very similar shoe to that. And this shoe is also a little bit more pre-arch like this. So it helps you get over on top of your box and make your shoes last a little bit longer. Now the Capizio Kylie is also very similar to the Ava, but with a couple different things. So first of all, the Kylie is a little bit narrower and slightly lower profile. So if you look at the shoes side by side, this is the same width, but you can see that the Ava is a little bit wider than, than the Kylie. So it's a little bit lower here and it's a little bit narrower in the box, but it's still quite um, square. So it has a wider platform. And uh, the main difference between the Kylie and the Ava is that the Kylie's are a lot softer. There's a lot less glue in this. So um, it does tend to break even lower. But if you have trouble getting over on your point shoes, this is great. Um, this is still a full shank though. So same shank strength from the toe to the heel, but it is a lot softer. The first version of the Kylie's that came out, it came in this cotton drawstring. I didn't love that because whenever you have a cotton drawstring, you can pull it and then there's no give in the Achilles. So I didn't like that as much, but the second batch came in with the drawstring. So they did fix that. And it also has that same soft material on the inside. Um, the fabric, I feel like this, uh, the Kylie is even lower than the Ava in terms of just the heel. 
they don't use a lot of fabric on the side regardless, but the heel doesn't really come up. It doesn't have that slight swoop. It still stays nice and straight. Anyone who doesn't like a lot of fabric in their shoes, Capizio in general is pretty, pretty good with that. Um, this is the regular Ava. And then this is the shank strength. When you look at the serial number, 2.5 is like a medium shank. Uh, if you look at the Kylie, you'll see there's a one. That means it's really soft. And then they just came out with the Ava Strong last year, which is a little bit harder than the Ava right now. And that one will say 0.35. So that means that it's a little bit harder than that. So Ava Strong is pretty similar to the regular Ava. The only difference is that it gets hard up until this point right here, and then it keeps it a little bit softer in the back three quarter, which I love because when you do that, you have a little shelf for your heel to sit on top of. One other thing about Kylie though, sorry, I'm jumping around a bit. Um, if you want to have a comparison in how light the shoe is, this shoe's pretty light. It's one of the softest, lightest shoes on the market. Um, another shoe that's comparable to this would be like Proflex. So if you've ever had that, the Proflex is super, super soft and light, and I really like that shoe too. The only difference is that if you see the Proflex, it's really tapered and it comes out to a very really small platform. The, the Kylie doesn't. So Kylie has a wider platform. So if you typically have a really soft shank with a really tiny platform, it's not as supportive. So I really like that this one at least has um, the wider platform. The two things that you want to be careful with with both of these models is um, that it breaks a little bit lower and if you have problems with your heel slipping off and you need a higher heel, uh, the Capizio Ava or the Kylie, you might have some issues having that stay on. Um, you can also like play around with ribbons and elastic and different types of sewing tricks to keep your heel on if you really love this shoe. But overall, I think it's really versatile. I'm really happy that they came out with this shoe um, because I wasn't a big fan of Capizio Point shoes for a long time. So I was a little hesitant to jump back in the point shoe game with Capizio, but I'm really glad that they figured it out and they look great. Um, they're super comfortable and I am still taking virtual fittings. So if you are interested in doing a virtual fitting, you can see the link on the description. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Uh, if you have any questions about point shoes or if you want me to do any other reviews about different brands, go ahead and leave that in the comments and I will answer that in my next video. I'll see you guys later.